Hello everyone, welcome to Horse Racing Nation. This is the racing site built by racing fans for racing fans. My name is Mike Shuddy. Hey look, we've got another great Saturday of stakes action lined up for you. I'm going to be taking a look at the Grade 2 Swap Stakes, run at Hollywood Park, mile and eighth distance. It features a compact field of five and it's headlined by Santa Anita Derby winner Sydney's Candy. We last saw Sydney's Candy finishing 17th, 54 lengths behind in the Kentucky Derby. You know, I have a ton of respect for trainer John Sadler, but I'm just not a big fan of Sydney's Candy. I just feel this horse has so much yet to prove. Why? Because those three greatest stakes wins, granted greatest stakes wins, were run at such soft fractions at Santa Anita that I just can't imagine that this horse has got what it takes to be one of the best this year. You know what? Sadler's proved me wrong before and may do this again, but let's see what happens in this race. You know, Sydney Scandy's definitely going to go out and set the pace in this one. But the fractions won't be soft. I believe that the horse skip shot, number four, is going to be sent and sit right off the flank of Sydney's Candy, pressuring all the way. Now, Sydney's Candy's stablemate, and coupled along here with Twirling Candy, I think this is the better horse and will prove to be the better horse at the end of the year. This horse is going to sit, oh, maybe about a length off these two leaders. And even though we're asking this horse to go from six and a half furlongs to a mile and an eighth, after a long layoff, I think this horse is going to be very, very comfortable in that position. So, I wouldn't be surprised to see this one take the top prize in this race. Now, my top pick, and you can call me nuts here, it's going to be Alfie's Bet. Alfie's Bet is a closer. That's tough to uh, root for here. Typically, on a five-horse field, you're going to expect that the front runner is going to do much better. But I really do believe the pace is going to be honest. And I think that sets up very well for Alfie's Bet. Alfie's bet, I project, will only be about five lengths behind all of these leaders as you get into that far turn. So, not a lot of work to do to go ahead and uh, take this field down in the end. So, why don't we do this? We're going to put a win bet on Alfie's bet, and then maybe a soft exact of putting skip shot, and then the coupling 1 and 1A, one but I'm particularly favoring the 1A over Alfie's bet. Good luck on the Hollywood uh, Swaps Grade 2 Stakes. Hey, come back to the Plays of the Day section because we've got some great picks by Jared Horick and also our good friends at Today's Racing Digest and all the racing fans. So pick a bunch of winners. I'll see you at the windows. And for Horse Racing Nation, this is Mike Shuddy bidding you to go fast and win.